Uh, good morning. <clears throat> I am trapped here. I am in the Hollister Hills in California, and I'm trapped. <laughs> I mean, there's worse places to be trapped, but <clears throat> I can't leave because, well, my frame broke in half again, and I have no idea how I made it here. This is like the miracle of all miracles. <laughs> It broke in the exact same place as it broke last time, except that it didn't completely fall apart. Yeah, like, <laughs> it basically hinged and was breaking like that. <laughs> I had a dentist appointment, so I had to come back to the Bay Area for my dentist appointment. And as I was driving up the hill, you know, Basically, the camper would tip backwards, and then when I went down a hill, it would be like it was supposed to. Well, about a mile away, I just like, oh, oh no, disaster, catastrophe. <laughs> it's funny now. I was really freaking out at the time. <laughs> this road coming here for about three miles is extremely windy. Oh, what are you talking about, Bex? Oh my gosh. Get to the broken frame already. <laughs> All right, let's t talk about the broken frame. Like that whole thing happened like probably like over three, just over three weeks ago. I've been really busy. I went to a couple of events, but yeah, broken frame. <laughs> so what I was not really talking about was my frame broke in essentially the same place it broke last time, except, okay, when my frame broke last time, he put this big piece of metal over it. And if you look, if you look where it broke, it broke on that big metal piece. So. Yeah, the, the original break was right in the middle of where that is. Yeah, so it essentially, you know, broke all around that metal piece, if you look. So that makes perfect sense based on what people have told me who have fixed the frame, that basically the metal is very, very thin. And when you weld on the metal, it basically just weakens it a little bit. So all around that weld, around the patch, that whole thing broke. Again, I don't understand how it stayed together. <laughs> um, yeah, miracle. Um, it just, it hinged when I was driving, as I said. So if you look here where it broke, it's essentially exactly halfway between where it hooks to the car on the tongue and the axle. And so this broken spot down here is like that exact in-between spot that's going to flex the most. Well, let's just cut to a montage of the mobile welder who came and fixed my house. <laughs>
yeah, so it's fixed again. <laughs> and the guy did a really good job. He actually got these uh, kind of L-shaped pieces of metal and welded those on, uh, on both sides. That's the piece you see on the outside there is kind of that L piece. It's got a bottom part too. Uh, anyway, I think he did a great job. I'm really happy with it. Uh, yeah, he was able to come out to the campground. <laughs> yeah, pretty amazing. This side over here was the one that, you know, had the biggest kind of break on it, I guess. But yeah, I don't know how it hung together, but still hinged in the middle like it did. Because, like, yeah, this whole part tipped back while, you know, it was still connected to the tongue of my car. Yeah, bizarre. I don't even know what to say about that. Just dumb luck. Beck's luck. I got the Beck's luck ever! <laughs> In my defense, um, I was kind of flustered at the time and was really sitting there thinking, what do I say? What do I talk about? <laughs> so, yeah, that's why I'm here now, uh, weeks later, telling you what happened in this beautiful Sierras. It's a totally overcast day today, and tomorrow it's supposed to thunder shower. Uh, but then it's going to get all sunny and warm again, like it was for the last couple days. All right, I'm just having some simple ramen tonight. Don't want to spill. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I put a couple of uh, soft boiled eggs in there because I love soft boiled eggs. Mmm. That's good. I haven't had this green noodle before. I got it at the Japanese store. It's really good. Before you comment on my camper, just keep in mind that this is a 1985 and that makes this 37 years old. <laughs> and 37 year old things need repairs and that's just a fact of life. I'm actually just really happy with my camper. It keeps me out of the rain and the wind. So yeah, you know, hopefully it'll last me a little while longer. <clears throat> a lot of people say, oh, you should get a new one. I'd love to have a new one, but then I'd have to buy a new vehicle because my vehicle won't tow the newer 17-footer, which is what I'd like to have. I don't know, I'm going to stick around with this one for a little longer. It's all back together and patched up. <laughs> So I'm kind of happy. Oh, I have this funny story. The other night, I got hiccups. And I'm sitting in my camper, and I get this big hiccup, and the whole camper kind of rocks a little. And then I get another, and it rocks a little. <laughs> and I just start cracking up, because I was thinking, oh, I need one of those bumper stickers that says, if this camper's rocking, I got hiccups. <laughs> 